what's up guys today we're going to go over another problem called a game with numbers this is called a a game with numbers ngm basically nick and Toph are playing a game they have a number that's smaller than 200 million and we each take one turn right um nick is the first one to do his first turn the turn is basically uh you subtract any non-zero digit is subtracted from the number and then a new digit uh, the, the remaining value replaces the old one so for example, the integer 40534, you could subtract 4 from it, and you get 40530. Or you could subtract 3 from it, and you would have 40531. Or you could subtract 5 from it, and you would have 40529. So the winner of the player is the one who writes 0 on the desk. So that's like the last player who writes 0. All right. So uh, now, basically, we're just going to decide a program who will win if both players do their best. Okay, so... The gist of this problem is actually not that difficult. Basically, they're saying that we need to subtract any non-zero digit, right? So what are non-zero digits? For like for each move, we have to subtract a non-zero digit. So what are the non-zero digits? Non-zero digits are digits between zero to nine, right? Zero to nine. So basically, each move we're gonna subtract digits from zero to nine, right? So if the number is divisible by 10, so like 40530, no matter how many times I subtract a digit from 0 to 9, I'm never going to have a digit that's divisible by 10, right? Do you guys get it? So then I would always lose, right? If I if, if Nick goes first, he was always going to lose then, if the number is divisible by 10. Um, otherwise, uh, if it's not divisible by 10, what we could do is we could just keep subtracting the last digit over and over again. So like uh, we have zero four zero five three one right. If I subtract the last digit one, um, it would be four zero five three zero. Then I could subtract the next last digit over and over again, and then sooner or later I would get uh, I would get the answer, right. So basically the gist of this problem is just to I'll show you the code now. That's pretty much the logic of the problem. So all we have to do is just check if it's if we read in the number n, and we need to check if it's divisible by 10. So if it's not divisible by 10, well, then that means we won. We're going to win, right? Because we're just going to print out the last digits. <coughs> we're going to just keep subtracting a number from 0 to 9. And then in the end, that's just going to be the last digit that's divisible by it. So if it's not divisible by 10, then we print out we win. And then we print out uh, our last digit, the ones place digit. Otherwise, we're going to print out. Uh, otherwise, we're just lost. Because right? no matter who, how many uh, non-zero digits from 0 to 9 that we subtract, we're never going to get back to a number that's divisible by 10. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this problem. Rate, comment, subscribe. I haven't had the time to do a lot of problems these days. Um, doing tutorials, I mean. But yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.